My name is Kurt Keller. How do you spell it? K U R T K E L L E R. And you said that you hadn't heard anything about the retirement of. No, not until I come in here and I just heard a little bit about it. Just they made mention of it that he was going to retire. And what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I don't know. From everything that I've heard and uh, what I've read in the paper, you know, that. Uh, I had some mixed emotions, uh, was not really sure of what actually did transpire through all the happenings, you know, for Congressman Booyer, but uh, my past experiences with him have been all positive. And, I mean, this is his hometown, mm -hmm. you know, is he a little bit, you know, he's pretty well known. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, no, he's, his, his name stands very tall around Monticello, you know, I'm sure that he has He's done a lot of good things for the city of Monticello and for the veterans. And uh, I know he was very instrumental in uh, uh, getting things moving for uh, the veterans from Iraq and Iran, you know, uh, Desert Storm and whatnot. So uh, he was, uh, I'm sure he was probably a decorated veteran himself. Um, what do you think this means for Monticello then in terms of getting things done legislatively? Oh, I don't think it will bring the whole system to a halt. I think that, you know, they'll they'll survive, uh, irregardless of what the outcome will be. Uh, for whatever reason that he's he's going to retire, I'm sure that uh, Monticello will survive. Any thoughts on who you think might replace him? No, I have no idea, no idea whatsoever. Anything else you want to say? No, I just I want to I want to thank him for all of his years of service that he's provided for us here, and uh, I hope him I wish him the the best in his future endeavors and his uh, spend some time with his family. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Can you tell me your name and spell it? My name's Pat Kinzer, K I N S E R. And tell me what you just told me about. Uh, I said it, it was ironic that you came back in here after he announced that he was resigning, that he started his campaign in here. He came in with a big crew and cameras and everything, and I don't know if it was a Channel 18 or what, but anyway, he came in and shook hands with everyone and talked, and that's how he started out. <laughs> and that was back, what, 18 years ago? It had to be 18 years ago. He was just getting started. It was the first time he ran. For and office. What was going through your head back then? I mean, how do you remember it as? Well, it was exciting. The place was full, you know, and, and he came in and, and was just shaking hands and telling everyone that he was running. And he'd already, had, I'm sure, had already announced that he was running, but he just kind of came in to kick the campaign off. And do you have any thoughts about him re retiring? No, not really. I mean, I, I wish him all the luck, and it was a shock. I was surprised yeah. that he was retiring out. How long has the place been here? We've been here 30 years. Wow. Yeah. Anything else you want to add before we take the camera off? I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> Pat, thank you so much. All right. Ready to help them? I'm all set. Can you start out by saying your name is calling me? My name is Jim Simons. Common spelling? S I M O N S. And Jim, um, we just kind of told you about Congressman Brewer retiring and his wife's not doing well. You know, she's sick. What's your reaction? Well, I feel a little sad. I'm sure he's done well for our district here and for the veterans. And I guess I'm disappointed that he's retired. And um, you, did you just find out about this one? Just when I walked in here to Kinzer's. What do you think the town, like, is it, do you think this is going to spread through the town pretty quick? Oh, yes, it'll be in the paper tomorrow. And he's been a pretty important part of this town. Do you have, I mean, any thoughts on kind of how he's impacted it over the years? I really, we're probably going to miss it. was telling us that he kicked off his campaign here 18 years ago. Do you remember back No. Do you remember when when he was just new in Congress? Yes. I mean, has it, how's that history been? 18 years is kind of a long time. 
It's hard to remember what happened back that far. <laughs> Unless it was something personal that happened to you. Do you know the family at all? No, I don't. But they live here, right? What do you think it means? it's going to mean legislatively for the town? Do you think it's going to have an impact? Well, hopefully they'll give some, find someone who can just do as good as he did. Do you think that, or do you have any thoughts on who that might be yet? Not at all. <laughs> I wouldn't even know who would be available. And you said you've lived here for 75 years? Yes. Is there anything else you want to say? Awesome. Thank you. Okay, I think we're all set now. All right. Can you tell me your name? Jill Sims. How do you spell that? S-I-M-S. Are you guys not going to talk? We'll talk. Okay, okay, let's get your names. Julio. Ledesma. Ledesma. How do you spell that? L-E-D-E-Z-M-A. Aaron, A-A-R-O-N. Sims, S-I-M-S. We have an Aaron at our station. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, what do you think this retirement of Congressman Bouyer means for our, this community here in I think it's been wonderful that we've had our congressman live actually here, and I'm sure that Monticello, you know, will will miss having a congressman from here. So hopefully, someone will run from here. Any thoughts on who might run? Oh no. No. Um, do you think that it'll have any impact legislatively on the town if they can't get another Monticello resident in the seat? You know, I, I think it'll be missed a little bit, but Monticello has a lot to offer, so it's it's protected. You know, we, we've had a great um, bipartisan representation between Katie Wolf for years and years, watching out for Monticello and Indiana, and now with Steve Booyer, I, I know he, you know, uh, was very uh, diligent for us. Were you surprised that he's retiring? I was. Kind of, I mean, a shock, or I, was it well known that his wife wasn't doing well health wise? Or? I never heard of I didn't either. So, so I'd say no. So it's kind of big news for the town. Is there anything else you guys want to say? We're glad you chose Casadores to come and, and interview. Okay, thank you.